30 Minutes of Umoria, show 104. Hello there, hello. Welcome to 30 Minutes of Umoria. What do I mean by that? I mean, Umoria 5.6 accepts no substitutes at all. Not Angband, not NetHack, nothing. This is the best one. This, the 104th show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter A. The lowercase letter A represents eight different creatures in Umoria, and all of them are some kind of an ant. This one is the giant red ant. The giant red ant is usually found around at depths of 450 feet, and it moves at a normal speed. It has an armor rating of 34, and a life rating of 4 die 8. The giant red ant tends to overlook intruders, which it may notice from 120 feet away. It can bite to attack with damage 1 die 4, and sting to weaken with damage 1 die 4. The giant red ant. Before we get started, let's check out the Wheel Source Code! Hey, alright, let's look at some source code. Spin the wheel, and land on a function called... Read Scroll. Hmm, I've never looked at this one. 510 lines long, maybe I have looked at it. That's a lot of code. <laughs> All right, scrolls.c. And that's all this function, this whole file does. That's, that's it. This is it. Okay, so this is going to enable the player to read a scroll. But not if you're blind. Not if you don't have any light. Not if you're confused. Um, hmm. You're not going to be able to read a scroll if you're not carrying anything, right? That's a weird one to put there. Um, and if you're not carrying any scrolls, then you're not going to be reading a scroll either. Otherwise, what scroll? Which one of the one to however many scrolls do you want to read? So you grab it. And then there's a while loop here. What's this while loop all about? I don't know. I'm not certain. However, uh, this switch statement here is all probably all of the scrolls. There's scroll number one, scroll number two, you can see these cases go by here, scroll number three, and each one is implemented as it goes, four, five, and onwards. Look at them all. all. Every scroll has a different case here. Right up to destroy area. Yikes. And yeah, so we're done our loop. I'm not sure what would make that loop. I'm going to pass on investigating that. After we read it, we can uh, go about identifying things, I guess. If we're identified, if it's identified, if it's an ident scroll, that's what it is. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> okay. If ident is true, it means what? That we somehow identified the scroll as a result of casting it. That's what it means. So go down here at the bottom. If we have identified the scroll as a result of casting it, and it's not known, we don't know what this is yet, then, hey, identify it and collect some experience while you're at it. Huh. Nice. Um, I'm going to just not look at that, but sometimes things are used up. Hmm, why would a scroll be used up? Very strange. Oh, the scroll is used up. That makes sense. Then we destroy the inventory slot. So that would be always set to true, wouldn't it? Used up. True. Set to false on an identify scroll. Well, that kind of makes sense. 
because I believe it just kind of goes with the other identify scrolls. Anyway, that's the end of the function. And it is called, you can guess, you can guess where it's called, in dungeon.c read scroll. Whenever you hit the letter R, it kicks it off. And that is the read scroll function of scrolls.c and the Umaria sources. You know a lot more about reading scrolls now than you did before, I bet, huh? And that is the wheel of source code. And our character is Yishad. He is 108 years old, he's an elf, and he's doing just fine. He's a mage down at 1950. 1950 feet. Um, what can I say? Uh, this level is actually quite difficult, despite our two rings of speed. It should be easier. <laughs> can you imagine how difficult it would be for our character, if not for the rings of speed? Now that's a normal kind of monster. He's not the problem, that golem, the iron golem. It's the dragons, of course. It's the dragons that cause all manner of problem. It's the dragons that cause instant death on this level and below. Um, so we do what we can to uh, assist in the slaying of dragons, but it's not always so easy, uh, depending on the dragon. Now you probably know all this if you're a Moria person. Just going to make uh, this lich go away. I'm casting lightning bolts. Yeah, they seem to have made us blind here. It's a good thing we have 16 of these mushrooms that cure that affliction. I wish this were like real life, just eat a mushroom. Fireball, that did it. So yeah, some uh, the ancient green dragon, some dragons that are ancient green and some that are multi-hued can instantly kill us with the breath of poison gas. There is no defense. Now, if you play Moray, you already know that. Um, we do our best to avoid these dragons, but uh, sometimes there is no avoiding it. You come around a corner, the page flips just like that, and it's capital D breathing on you before you can do anything. And that's why they call it instant death. We're just going to phase door away. What was that that we were hitting? Rest here. I still don't know what that was. Invisible. Isn't that curious? So the monster detection spell we keep casting does not actually detect invisible things. Sure, white. We can handle him. Here we go. Let's give him a fireball. How do you like that? So he won't score very many hit points on us. Although we watch anyway. There we got it. You never know. Resist heat. Lightning balls. Well, we already have a lightning balls one. We'll leave it there. Mental note to self. See that room right there? That is the room that has the lightning ball. And if we need it, we can go get it. Oh, heads up. How is it that we lost something? 
Must have dropped our staff. What did we drop? Ben confused. Anyway, we have an extra one now, I guess. Another King Lich to cause problems. Sustain Constitution Ring. Lots of lightning bolts. And now a fireball to finish him off. Didn't do it. There you go. They're pretty easy to kill. You just don't want them to touch you. Remove your experience. That's the great inconvenience of this low depth. So why do I say accept no substitutes? Well, why is Moria better than Angband? You might say, Angband has more stuff, and it's got more characters, it's got smarter monsters, it's got better classes, it's and all the rest of it. How could it be a better game? And you, you gotta say, it's the balance. It's the balance of this game versus the balance of Angband. This game has a balance that for some reason Angband has not been able to achieve. What do I mean by balance? I mean, the game is a fun game and a hard game uh, for every race class combination. And then Basically, for many depths, it is also very difficult. So, you know, it is, uh, and how did it get that? It got that through massive amounts of gameplay with the developer involved in that gameplay. So it was a tight knit loop, I understand, uh, in the University of Oklahoma. And a lot of people were playing the game, wasting their hours. Oh, heads up. And uh, they can easily report back to the developer, uh, R.A.K., Robert Allen Kaniki, might be his name. I, I never know how to say it. But they can report back and they could uh, talk about how they found the game. And you must have had very good gamers, or people who just played it an awful lot, because somehow, this game uh, ended up with some fantastic balance, which has remained largely unchanged since, really, you gotta say it, since 1985. Largely unchanged. And 1950 is looking pretty easy right now, I gotta say. Um, you might wonder why we're so cautious. Well, it's because of the ancient dragons we haven't spotted yet. Still none. saying, yeah, um, for whatever reason, Angband's been around a lot longer, and, you know, Moria does have problems with issues in balance. It's not perfect, but the fun factor is still totally there. As you can see, it's actually a suspenseful game at this level. 
And this is after 35 hours of gameplay. Uh, I think normally other players might be like 50 or 60 hours of gameplay at this point. We went a little faster because we found Rings of Speed, which makes the which does upset the balance a little bit. But here we are down at the bottom, and the Rings of Speed are helping. Doesn't make it simple by any means. So yeah, although Angband's been around. I have to say, the balance is not what I would consider to be on par with, with Moria. It just isn't. Now, I don't know, I've never actually played Rogue, but I understand that Moria was to Rogue in many ways what uh, Angband was to, is to Moria. It's just more. More of everything. More levels, more items, more attack kinds, you know? More of everything. Um, but I don't know uh, if the game... Whoa. Heads up. Did we lose anything? Not yet. I don't know if uh, how many of these monsters were created just for Moria, and how many were already in. Uh oh. Teleport away. Time out. This is an ancient green dragon. He's been tracking us. He's awake, uh, and he's angry. In the next turn, he could breathe on us for 666 hit points. That's a maximum. We have no resistance to his attack. None. So, uh, what we're going to do uh, is teleport away and hope that the 5% teleport self does not kick in the fail. We, we need to succeed in this. Here we go. Okay, where was that? Not far away. The dragon is just over there still. I don't see him though. Isn't that where he was? Where was he? Is he way over there on the left side? More importantly, can we make it to stairs going up? Can we abandon this level now? Go, I see stairs. All right, um, seems a bit cowardly, but uh, I'm not staying anywhere near that uh, ancient green dragon. We do not want to end our streak here, and he can end it. He could have ended it in one more turn. Could have happened. Not sure what the chances were, but it definitely could have happened. So we'll go up to 900 feet, 1900 feet here. We'll try to clear this level. Iridescent beetle. Alright. 1900 is a little bit safer for us, I have to say. Anyway, what I was saying about Angband is uh, I don't know if uh, Rogue changed or Moria changed the, that many of the letters that mean monsters, if you follow me. It's like when I play Angband, the monsters are all something different. 
And I find it really unacceptable for a game that claims to be the next game, you know. Whoa, I wonder what that is. I find it pretty unacceptable for that to take place, gotta say. I mean, it's, it's Tolkien in nature as well. So why wouldn't I want to play it, right? So I have to say, I didn't have a good experience with the Ang Band. Although I appreciate many aspects of it, including its superior source code. Yes, sir. So yeah, I do appreciate Ang Band. I just don't think it's got what Moria has. And NetHack is like it's if uh, if roguelike is the genre, you know, NetHack is just in a, in another it's in another section of the bookstore. It's a it, it's on a different shelf. Uh, you know, it's in the comedy shelf, really. It's just like a big. It's a, it's challenging and bigger and everything, <laughs> but it's not as random. Whoa! Even though it has many random levels, the random nature to it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I never played that much of uh, Hang Band. Who was this? King Rich. You can try to go toe to toe with this guy. Come on over here, Mr. Gollum. Miss, hit, miss. We get so many hits on him because he moves so slowly. He hasn't hit us yet. There we got him. Interesting. So yeah, I don't like that. I know Moria changed the key commands. It's like Moria came up with their own letters, which must have been a huge insult to the roguelike community. It's like, why would you change the letters? I trained my hands to work with, with a certain key set and you changed the letters. So uh, what Moria did was they said, okay, you want the old key commands? Here you go. Just turn them on. It's in the options. Don't like ours? Fine. But with Angban and the monsters, you are stuck with those monsters. That's how that works. And it's too bad because my, uh, my radar goes off in a different way. What's going on? And that's one of the bugs in Moria right there. Monster on rubble. Pretty sure that's not supposed to be a feature. We're going to connect these rooms up or thereabouts. So anyway, yeah, not totally on board with all of the design decisions that were implemented in Angband. I would really rather play 
a continuation of Moria. However, any messing with the balance just uh, any messing with the balance would need to be very well understood or have a positive army playtesters. So it says he sends, okay, we see that mushroom type thing. And getting armies of people to play a new roguelike is very difficult. Just to, just to ask the people who are writing new roguelikes now. There are a few of them. There are a few of them. And if you've watched this show before, you heard me say about a lot of the different things I would add or change or make better. There's just something about this format that makes people want to improve it. Which is why there are so many angbans and so many roguelike games at all. I think it's many people's first little development project that they do. You know, a lot of them, I think, are maybe a summer project by students. And then it kind of gets abandoned. But some of the angbans actually lasted. And they're still around. Certainly even Moria gets little fixes. Store mana, lose intelligence. I know there are unofficial patches to Moria. They're not on this uh, version. Those are some very good patches. Very worthwhile. Letting them hit us here, folks, so that we can pull them out into the center of the room. There we go. Why do we do that? So he can throw out his stuff better. Metal brigandine armor. Is that how you say it? Brigandine? Brigandine? It is not resistant, so we don't care about it. Although I'm sure it would offer much better, uh, you know, AC. No monsters. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, this is our fourth, fourth potion of gain experience. The last one gave us 100k, and this one if it gives us 100k, it will put us to level 36 and we will learn a new spell. Word of Destruction, I believe it is. Let's take a look. No, Genocide. We already learned the Word of Destruction. We will learn Genocide. Wow. What kind of crazy person would actually code a Genocide spell anyway? What will we call it? We'll call it Genocide. Anyway, um, Quaff. Here we go. Are we going to level up? Yes, level 36. Wow. When look at our hit points. We're, at, we're up to 263 now. And look how far away the next experience level is. <laughs> wow. So that's uh, 216 plus 125. 3, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1. Two, I don't know. I did it wrong. 3, 4, 1. A whole lot of experience. So isn't that nice? We found a good thing. 
Um, not because we really need to learn this spell. You know what? We didn't even learn the spell. It's at 37. We're at 36. But because we need the uh, hit points it gave us. It gave us a whack of new hit points. Very good. However, if I could choose which potion I would find, I would not pick that potion. Do you know which potion I, I would pick? I would pick the potion of invulnerability. Yes, sir. That's what I would pick because it helps us go kill the Balrog. These extra hit points that we have are useful, but to a point. Whoa, they're useful for withstanding breath attacks of dragons and breath attacks of Balrogs if he does that. So is there any way into that middle there? What do you think? Or is that it? I see a closed door in the top left. Let's go to that. Yeah, we'll look at this. Ah, doors to location. So what was I saying? I forget. That door doesn't go anywhere. Maybe we should just leave this level. Go down. Where is it? There it is. Okay, we are back to 1950. This time we're going to clear it. Hit him with some... Does he, is he affected by lightning? It is susceptible, susceptible to fire and bright light. Hit him with fireballs. So goes the vampire. So at this point, does it matter if we lose experience? That is a reasonably good question. Well, it matters if we lose enough that we lose the hit points that we gain. I would say that that matters. So, all of the nausea that we go through when a certain undead monster takes away our experience, are we really that put out by the loss of say, 20,000 experience points when a gain, a gain experience potion gives us 100,000. How's that balance? How do we really balance those two things? It's like at some point, you have to admit that we're not going to level up based on kills. <laughs> it's ridiculously far away. I mean, people do. But I'd like to think we're going to take on the, the Balrog before the next, you know, before the next level. For the, ne the next experience level, that is. So again, I'll ask the question, what does it really matter if uh, a wraith takes away some experience points? 
Well, I guess they accumulate. This level has been very tame. Very, very tame. Excuse me. That sound means five minutes left, folks. Surprisingly, we leveled up. We're not going to run into the darkness. We learned our lesson a few years ago on that one. I see a capital D. He could be on our line. Well, we can't hit him. I just tried to do a firebolt. He's still where we left him. Still where we left him. Now is he aligned with that door? Not quite. Ancient white. Okay, we'll try to dispatch this guy and then we will end there. Walk up to him. Fireball to start things off. There's two fireballs. Now we can hit him with our weapon. We're at 235. We're watching the doorways here. Watching the doorways. If anything comes in, ooh, he just breathed frost, but not for much. We're just going to step back and we're going to let him follow us because we want maximum stuff here. Here we go. So, watch the dragon while you're killing him to see to wait for a breath attack and when the breath attack hits you for very little he's nearly dead that's how you know so you can maximize the stuff he's, he drops by watching just for that all right 714 that's nearly a record who's wisdom thinking cloud so he dropped crap this time you might as well have dropped a big giant turd. And that's all she wrote for this time around, folks. We're nearly at 800,000 experience points, and uh, we are doing great. Just great. 263 uh, hit points and 143 mana. Wow. All right, tune in next time, and hopefully we'll go down to 2,000. How about that? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.